let's jump on board the CV Boats 270Z paired with a single V10 Mercury Marine Barado outboard. Can't wait to see what this thing does. So let's jump on board. Ah, take a loop around Lake X. Tell us what uh, what you've seen out here so far. And you know, I hadn't run this thing until this morning, so. Really? I uh, like it. Yeah. You know, I mean, sold a lot of them with single 450s. If I was gonna do a single on this boat, I'd do I'd do that motor. Do this. You know, the boat with 2225s is you know I mean, you can't deny the performance. Mm -hmm. I'm over on the west coast, so the guys that are running offshore, you got people running. 20, 30, 50. I mean, I was rolling in from offshore the other day. We were, you know, coming back from being about 110 offshore and oh, wow. rolled by a guy in a bay boat that was like 70 off. Really? So, you know, yeah, they're they're doing it. Long runs on this thing. It, you know, I think this is actually the first time we see Charles' boat at all. The, the 270Z personally. Been on all the rest of them, but it, I think this one we have not. Boat over there, inshore, near shore. Yeah. You know, it's uh. It's, it's a comfortable boat and the bumpy stuff, certainly compared to a skiff. A ton of storage, you know, a lot of deck area. They're pretty popular over there. A lot a lot of the, the bay boat, hybrid bay boat stuff over on the west coast. Mm-hmm. Uh, you see them you see them usually more with the with the twin setup or, no, or that single four fifty. No. I think it's a combination of both depending on what you're doing. Right. Guys that are primarily sticking inshore, they want a single. Yeah. You know, you got you got more room back there. I would do a single. It seems like this setup with this 400 on it is setup, uh, sweet. The 450 is, I think they're close in performance. See what the price point is on this. 450 is expensive. You know, yeah. It's a great running boat with a 450 on it. But I uh, sure. like this motor, naturally aspirated, so you're not dealing with the supercharger. If I was going to build one tomorrow, I, you know, I'd have to think about it. Really? Twins are a single. Yeah. Have to think about it. I've got a 34, but I've got an 18 Redfish or a U, you know. Oh, yeah. Just just running around on that, and, and this stuff, I'd be getting beat up. You know, this this is... Yeah, that's a different different level. Way more comfortable in the bumpy stuff. Yeah, it's got beautiful lines to it. It's got some that's power. I have that new prop and gear case and all that. I mean, yeah. apparently the single engine world is extremely popular for, for company like Mercury, but, well, you know, those 34s and stuff that with twins and... You're gonna see guys that... that have triples that would rather have twins. Yeah. Guys that have quads that would rather do triples. So we have a mortar guide trolling motor off in the bow. And if you've known anything about CV, the quality and attention to detail is unparalleled. Check out the fit and finish of, of, of everything you have here. A tremendous amount of storage, rod lockers throughout here. Live well. I'm not gonna open every single one of them, but you guys get the point. Really nice boat, does about 53, 54 miles an hour with the V10 400 on it and definitely an outfit we're likely gonna see more here on the 270Z. Pop this up, insulated cooler, got their logo underneath, vertical rod storage on either side, cup holder slightly slanted so that water can run off. Pop this open, you have access to your amps, batteries, and a bit of storage. Again, le leaning post with some tackle storage here underneath. You got your retractable frigid rigid, it looks like. Pop this open. Best Marine, sea chest. Good access to your bilge. A jump seat right here that you can pop into action when you're headed back from a day of fishing. All right, so that wraps up our sea trial. It's our first 270Z sea trial, actually. The boat ran well. There's quite a bit of chopping here because there's a ton of boats just, you know, doing sea trials left and right. 
but it's a beautiful boat, perfectly paired with that V10 400. They say they do a ton with the 450R, so this is definitely gonna be a popular option for someone that doesn't want the 225s, wants a little more room back in the cockpit to be able to fish, and maybe wants uh, a little lighter draft with the weight of the single engine, which is only 695 pounds with the V10. So, very nice boat. And again, can't wait to see more of those out on the water. Thank you.